This is our final double elemental, a hybrid of dark and slime. With the prompt of plump, I wanted to make a fat slime monster that either has a skeleton or visible internal organs. I eventually decided upon showing the organs, because the skeleton idea was already done by monsters like the Epic Ghast and the Zister. Because so much attention was going to be given to the internal anatomy, like the animations of the heart beating, or the lungs expanding, or the intestines squirming around, I kept the exterior details relatively simple. I gave it four little arms, as well as a mouth, and an eye. I considered putting something on its head, but decided against it because I liked the simple silhouette that this monster had. For the sound, you would be able to see its lungs take a large gulp of air, and then a pipe organ would come blaring out of its mouth. That's the final staple for a classic Halloween song. The harpsichord from the Peeperjack, the theremin from the Theramo, and the pipe organ from this guy. You may have caught on by now, but this is an organ monster, both physically and musically. You may also be surprised by its name. Meet the Gunge, which is just an actual English word meaning slime. If you stray too far into the darkness enveloping Fright Island, you may hear a hauntingly beautiful tune. Track the melody to its source and you'll find the Gunge. Transparent in more ways than one, the Gunge offers sage advice and helpful and honest opinions on novel melodies and questionable fashion choices. Although only found in remote pockets of the monster world, the Gunge is indeed a distant relative to a certain water-loving Whistler.